Hi everyone, welcome back. Hang on. I forgot to move my drink in the background. I hate when that happens. Okay. Hey everyone again, welcome back. So, I saw my friend That Girl Shay XO. If you don't follow her channel, I absolutely love her. She did a video saying goodbye to the Urban Decay Naked eyeshadow palette. Now, if you have not heard, Urban Decay has decided to discontinue their original Naked palette. This thing has a lot of sentimental value to me and I'm sure a ton of other people. For me specifically, this was the first eyeshadow purchase or eyeshadow palette or larger sort of makeup purchase that I made. It was for sure the one of the larger, ex, more expensive purchases that I ever made, but it was also just the first eyeshadow palette, and it was also the first thing that kind of got me searching the internet. Like, at that time, I had only seen a few different channels that talked about MAC lipsticks, to be honest. And then I bought this palette, and I started searching for people who were doing Urban Decay Naked eyeshadow palettes. It kind of released around the time that I started doing YouTube. This is an eyeshadow palette that if people are looking for a really great starter, I'll tell them this eyeshadow palette. It's almost like iconic. If you love makeup, you should own the Urban Decay Naked Original Palette. If you like bronzes, you should own this palette. It's the more warm edition. It has the most shimmery shades. It only really has two matte transition colors. That's it. So as far as functionality, honestly, this palette, a lot of people don't use it because of the majority of the shimmer shades. However, I feel like if you're a makeup lover, just for the reason of that this is like, I don't know, it's just so nostalgic, you should own it. So when they decided to discontinue it, they dropped the price to $27. I will leave a link down below if you do not own the Naked Palette or if you own it and you want a backup. I already own a backup because they have sent me through the years, Urban Decay has sent me backups of this palette, which I'm so grateful now because I was giving them away. Like I've probably had six or seven that, that I've gotten sent through the years and I was just giving them away to people and I had one left. So one left, sorry to my other friends, but I'm going to go ahead and keep it because now I'm like, well, what if I run out? Because look at the shade Virgin right here. That is almost gone. So in honor of this palette, I thought I would do an everyday look for those of you who Love this palette. It's just kind of like a close off to it, a final farewell, if you will, to use that girl Shay XO. Shay's words are the final farewell to the Urban Decay Naked palette, the original. I'm sure they will come back in a, a year or two and be like, oh, look, we're bringing the palette back. And it's going to be like when Disney like re releases the things out of the vault, everyone's going to go nuts. But for this Friday favorites, this is the original favorite, the thing that started it all. So I thought we would do a little bit of a throwback to the Naked Original palette. Maybe I'll go back all the way back to talking about my very first tutorial that I ever posted on this channel was with this eyeshadow palette. So if you're interested in that, hang on tight. If you purchased it because of the sale and you're looking for tutorials and you found this video, maybe. I mean, look at like <laughs> my palette is like so loved, so beaten up, it's falling apart. So let's just go ahead and get into it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe before you go. And yeah, we're going to get started. So I threw out an old CD player <clears throat> in my trash. And I've always wondered if like, if you are working for the, for the city, like if you, if you pick up trash, um, if, if you ever see treasures and you want to pick them up. And the CD player works, so I, sh I was hoping someone would take it, but the, but the guy who um, picks up the trash, he just took it. And I'm like, yes, thank you. Because usually when I put my big trash out, like someone comes and picks it up. And I always wondered, like, having that job, wouldn't that be awesome? Like, you could see all of the stuff that people were going to throw away. And, like, if it was, like, a treasure to you, you could pick it up. Am I the only one? Because <laughs> I want that job and, like, go around and be like, I could totally use that. Okay, so we're going to start off with the Naked and Buck and put that in the crease. So my very first video that I ever filmed on YouTube was this palette using these this same combination right here I think I'm not sure exactly if I'm gonna do the same look but I remember putting Buck in my crease and talking about like what a good transition it was and um, so this was back then and I was about to go to my friend's wedding 
she was getting married on that Saturday. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, my friend was going to come over and pick me up. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and film this video really quick. I filmed it holding my iPhone. Like, my iPhone was like this. And I filmed the tutorial in my iPhone. And I remember even saying back then, like, I didn't fill in my brows. I didn't wear a lip liner and I wore a red lip. That tutorial is literally still up on my channel because I like to think... If someone ever discovers it or I can go back and see how far I've come <laughs> which sometimes some days I'm like not very far but anyways I I love it because it's like it's this palette it's the same palette and it was the the first video I chose to do uh, I remember I showed my husband the video before I put posted it and he said if you're gonna do this like bless his heart he said if you're gonna do this for good you need to uh, do something about your eyebrows. <laughs> so my eyebrows were nuts at the time, and I'm not saying they're like that much better. The what is this? I'm not saying they're that much better these days, but they're they're better enough uh, from from those days. So, anyways, I just thought that was so funny. He's like, if you're gonna do this, you need to like go and get your eyebrows like threaded, waxed, or something. So. I did and I had one little honest friend who decided to tell me give me that same advice she said you need to do something about your eyebrows um, I don't want that to be something that would deter people from watching you so I mean honestly if I would have come across my channel at that point in time no possible way I mean filming on an iPhone um, you know, no, the, from filming in front of a window, no lighting, no anything, just like natural light, natural window. But, you know, in some ways, I feel like those were the good old days. Like, Everyone's doing these My Truth videos and talking about the beauty community. You guys know, <clears throat> if you watch my channel, I literally stay in my own little corner of the internet. I definitely do know what is going on. I do not <laughs> engage in all of the business so there is so much going on but I feel like honestly I am here in Texas I have three kids my husband my friends my, my kind of group and I stay in my little corner of the internet there's so much going on um, you know so yes YouTube has changed and and right now I think it's kind of going through a little bit of a purging process there's just like a lot of things coming out and everyone wants to speak their truth or their side or whatever uh, so YouTube has just changed there's part of me that like is happy for some of the the gradual growth and the progression and there's some th times that I'm like really sad I'm really sad that that part that era is kind of over where it's just like a girl in her bedroom which I'm still a girl in my bedroom doing my makeup with better lighting and a better camera so I guess in that aspect I personally haven't changed and I, I don't think I will. A lot of people are always like, don't change, don't ever change. And to be quite honest, I just don't think I will. I really, I've had times over the years where people, I've asked people, do you want me to get backgrounds? Do you want me to change or whatever? And they say, no, I like that it's the bed of pillows in your background. I like that it's, you know, feels like I'm talking to a friend. And that honestly was the thing that I wanted. When I was connecting to YouTube, the people that I connect with are people who I literally felt like I was actually their friend. I hope that that is the vibe that you take when you leave my videos, is that you feel like we are actually friends. Because we are, we're a community and that's why I started my channel. So I'm going into the shade Smog, which is this gorgeous, I love using this all over the lid, but I'm gonna put it in my crease. Now it is a shimmery, like bronze, deep bronze shade, but I do like to, after I lay down with the matte to kind of put this in the crease, it does add a lot of depth, but I just, I love this eyeshadow and I feel like anytime I use it and put it in the crease you wouldn't think it kind of like has like this gold shift when you put it in the crease uh, but you wouldn't think to put like a shimmery shade in your crease but we're just gonna go for it I'm just really gonna do this super duper old school it's gonna look messy until I clean everything up so I mean pfft, let's be real it might look messy when I'm done cleaning everything up I'm not a makeup artist I'm a girl who loves makeup 
And this palette is for people who love makeup. That's what I love about it. You don't have to be a makeup artist. You can be a girl in your bedroom who loves makeup and who bought the Naked palette. You know, I'd love to hear some of your stories of when you bought the Naked palette or why you bought the Naked palette, what it means to you, because I feel like this is a rather nostalgic eyeshadow palette for a lot of people. It kind of came around before the huge boom in the makeup industry. I feel like maybe in the past five to seven years, the makeup industry has just completely changed and skyrocketed. It's such a billion dollar industry. Um, but I feel like this palette, honestly, was the start. When, when people think back to a palette of eyeshadows, at the time there weren't really palettes. There were single eyeshadows. Urban Decay, to my knowledge, was the very first thing that I had ever heard of that was like several eyeshadows lined up in a row in a palette form and it was nudes so everyone was like, ah, nudes! Okay, I'm going to use the shade Sin all over my lid because that was how I used to do it. I'm going to get it a little bit wet. There are so many things that have changed in the makeup industry and just even on YouTube just in general you know the one constant hopefully is just the love of makeup okay I'm gonna take some of this shade called toasted which is like almost like a mauvey shimmery shade right there and I'm just gonna go for it I don't know really I'm putting that kind of like we're just gonna go really just use all of all of my favorite shades this palette is just full I usually do the gold the half-baked shade I'm just going to uh, go for all my favorite shades. If you are looking for material of how to do looks using this palette, trust me, YouTube is packed full of tutorials. I know I've done several series using all of the Naked eyeshadow palettes, and um, I know so many people. That's how I found a lot of people. I found Kathleen Lights using the Urban Decay either the Naked 2 or the 3 palette. Somehow I found her. She only had 10,000 subscribers. She always left comments on my channel. And so when I searched for Urban Decay Naked 3 palettes, she popped up and I was like, I recognize this name. This girl leaves comments on my videos, which is the irony, really. So I went to her channel and I was like, oh my gosh, I love this eye look. You have such gorgeous eyes because she has so much lid space. But yeah, that's how I found her. I found a ton of people I love from Urban Decay Naked Palettes. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Dark Horse, which is a little bit darker than the shade Smog that we kind of put in the crease. And I'm just going to put this on the outer corner. Like I said, a lot of people shy away from this palette because it is full of shimmer shades. It's got a lot of shimmery shades and people are like, what in the world? Like, why would I use a bunch of shimmer shades? I understand that, but especially, I guess if you have even a little bit more mature eyelids, people are sticking with more matte eyeshadows. But there is just something magical about this eyeshadow palette. Like, like I said, you don't think to put shimmery sort of shades in your crease but it somehow it all comes together and it works out okay i'm gonna go ahead clean this up with a makeup wipe and make these lines sharper i'm going to just put a real quick liquid liner on some mascara and then i will be back i just used mascara i didn't put on lashes i use this new nars the climax mascara i really like it but back in the day i wouldn't wear false lashes and i really want to keep this kind of true to how i really loved the Naked palette and I felt like it was a great everyday palette for a lot of people and it's sometimes intimidating. I think when I first started watching YouTube and I saw people doing using the Naked palette, quite frankly I was like a wee bit intimidated by people using the Naked palette and thinking, oh man, they're wearing lashes, like I don't have lashes that, that I feel comfortable wearing. I thought I looked like foolish in lashes. I actually remember a video specifically. Um, I'm using, going to use this uh, Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Finish Foundation. I remember a video specifically where I was like, gonna use. I was using lashes, and I thought it was so funny because I like I tried them on and I felt like I looked like a what's that a caterpillar it was like the lashes like flipped all the way up and I felt like they were touching my eyebrows I mean they were this color might be a little bit too dark or a little bit too like 
yellow. I'm using the Y245. I think I usually use the 225, so this is quite a jump. So, as my homage to the originalness of it, I'm just going to go original style with no lashes. But surely enough, if you love lashes, you feel super comfortable with lashes, please go ahead and add lashes. That's uh, with all sort of tutorials. That's kind of how I started out. Like, I would just take little bits from each person I watched and decide to do what I felt comfortable with. Or sometimes I would do my makeup it, at night. Like if I was feeling like really insecure about like wing liner or you know, certain eyebrow, filling my eyebrows in. Like when I first even started filling my eyebrows in, I thought I looked like, you know, what's that, Bert and Ernie. Like I thought like, oh my gosh, like you have like, what's that character? My husband always says it to me when but it's like super sharp eyebrows. I feel like I looked crazy and I would always like do it at night so that if I did look crazy, then I could just wipe it off and I would test new things out. I mean, I remember groucho marks. That's what my husband always says. Like, oh, you got groucho marks because I would, you know, if you film in too dark, whatever, but when you first start filling your eyebrows in, you really feel like you look crazy. Like, it's almost like, ah, you have to gradually keep doing it. And then you realize like, wow, what a difference filling your eyebrows in really makes. But when I first started with this eyeshadow palette, I wasn't filling my brows in. Um, yeah, a lot of things. Okay, I'm gonna use this as a Flower Beauty Concealer. I love this stuff. This is the Light Illusion. I just did a video about drugstore dupes if you do not like ugh, this concealer if you like nars radiant creamy concealer you don't like the price tag on it or it creases on you because nars radiant creamy concealer creases on me really really bad if you don't if you find that that happens to you as well please try this one from flower beauty it is full coverage it's really really nice under the eyes and it doesn't crease I will buy it over, that like made my face look much more corrected from that Too Dark Foundation. I will buy this over NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer all the time now just because I, I love it that much. Okay, bronzer, I'm using this one from Hourglass. Like a lot of brides, like the Urban Decay Naked One palette is like a lot of what a lot of brides used. I know that uh, for a long time, like if you would go to Pinterest, it would be like the bridal smoky eye and it was always like using the Urban Decay Naked palette because I do think that it has a lot of those like really pretty bronzy but still giving you that smoky look without being too overdone so I do think it's a great palette in, in that aspect as far as using it for bridal. I'm using this rose gold blush duo from Jouer which I have used in a full video. I was going to post that honestly today but I decided you know what this video needs to go up more. I'm going to use this MAC highlight this is in double gleam. I had it in here from my recent video I was comparing it my, using a drugstore dupe that I love that I feel like dupes this highlighter so I'm just going to use it but I do have a drugstore dupe for that if you watch that video. I'm going to use Urban Decay's Fuel. I love this lipstick. I'm going to also use this ultra glossy lip. This is in Wham from Colourpop. I'm just going to put that like right here in the center. Okay back to the eyes. I'm going to use a white liner or any type of like nude liner that you have will work in the waterline. Okay, then for the lower lashes, I'm going to start out by taking Naked and Buck again, what we put on our crease to start with as our transition. I'm just going to use this to buff out under the eye. I'm going to go into the shade Smog and we're going to wet our brush just a little bit just to bring out the more sort of like golden flex that smog does have in it and I'm going to put that right under the eye. 
I love this shade and doing that because you really get to see the bronziness of it. Okay, before we go in with some lower lash mascara, I'm gonna go into the shade Virgin, which is the only one that I have hit pan on. Everything else is pretty dented well, but I've only hit pan on this. Again, I'm going to spray a little bit of like Fix Plus on that, and we're going to put Virgin in our inner corners. This is like a bright whitish shade. And I'm just going to put a touch of it like right here on the brow bone. Alright, I'm going to use a little bit of the lower lash mascara. This is MAC Giga Black Lash. This look is just something that is a go-to staple for me. I, honestly, I travel with this palette because I feel like it is something I can trust. I know I'm going to get what kind of look I'm going to get with it because I've used it so many times. I mean, the, the front is falling apart, but... It's not that it's not a quality palette, it's just been through the ringer. It's been in every single travel bag and in so many favorites videos. I'm going to leave a link down below of my favorites playlist because I would like to call this the ultimate favorite. Um, I'm going to leave all of the times I have used this or included it if you want to see looks tutorials using it or just comparisons of other palettes when other palettes release I always kind of go back and talk about it so if you just got it or you're looking for more ideas or you're you've been inspired to pull it back out again and you want to see a list I will try and link those down below hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing this look and thank you guys so much for watching if this was your first palette or if you remember purchasing it if you purchased it around a huge event or if it was a gift for you for a huge event let me know down below or if you just purchased it for the first time because it's being discontinued. That plane, how rude. Interrupting. Uh, let me know that as well in the comments down below. Again, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. And I will see you all in the next video.